I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got a new M1 Mac Mini last week. I, I don't know, I might have said something in passing. Anyway, I asked you, the Garage Band Guide community, via Facebook, Twitter, email, and YouTube, if you had any questions for me about this new Apple Silicon Mac. And oh, yeah, wow, yeah, you had questions. So I've revived the Garage Band Q&A format to help out and try and answer some of your questions. Today's question comes from Evan on YouTube, who asks, which audio interface works with the M1? Thanks, Evan. That's a really great question. So I can only speak from experience with the interfaces that I own. And I did cover this topic briefly in my first impressions video as well. My main interface, the Motu M2, works absolutely as expected in terms of being an input for microphones and instruments and outputting to headphones or the studio monitors that I have connected. But not all of its features are functional. On Motu's website, the M2 and M4 bus powered USB audio interfaces are compatible with macOS Big Sur as USB audio class compliant devices allowing plug and play operation with no driver installation needed. A driver will soon be available that provides lower latency performance, loopback channels and core audio volume control under macOS Big Sur. Now, I can't say that I've noticed any increase in latency at all, but it's nice that they're working on a fix for that loopback functionality. Loopback being the ability to combine computer audio and live inputs for live streaming. So if you have one of these and use it for live streaming, maybe hold off from grabbing an M1 machine until Motu get their update out the door. My Focusrite Scarlett 2i4 second gen also works flawlessly with no increase in latency or decrease in sound quality. Behringer's UM2 also works as expected, although even an M1 equipped Mac can't make this little thing sound decent. And an interface that I'm currently in the process of testing for an upcoming review, the M Audio M Track Solo, also works completely as expected with no issues. So it seems that any interface that is class compliant i.e. doesn't require any drivers to connect to a device, will be plug and play as before. But as always, do your due diligence. Check out manufacturers' websites just in case, or reach out to them on social media. You can often get a straight answer quickly if you were to send their support team a wee tweet or something like that. All right, thanks again, Evan, for a great question. Look, I'll be answering your M1 Mac queries in this fashion for a little while. So if you have your own questions about M1 Macs or just GarageBand in general, chuck it in the comments below or get in touch via social media. I'll put links to those in the description below. If you missed my M1 Mac Mini first impressions video, then click or tap the video right here to check it out. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.